Ow. Just got my teeth cleaned and I found out that I have no cavities and the only thing they really recommend is that I floss a little bit more, which isn't the biggest deal ever and I'm gonna make sure I floss more before it becomes a big deal. I want to address some of the stereotypes about software development and engineering. People think that it is a solitary field. Hey Josh, you going to that stand-up meeting? No. Why would I go to that? Uh, right. Regardless of what people say, software engineering is not a solitary job field. What you just saw, 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 is not okay. And if you want to be that person who just is at their desk, Working eight hours without talking to anyone, you won't be successful in this industry. But if you do like talking to people and you do like solving problems together, this is a perfect field for you. So I'm really trying to eat healthier. I'm trying to get my body right because I will say you do spend a lot of time at your desk, especially writing code. And you do have the option of having standing desks. At least I have that option like at work. So if you don't want to just be sitting down all the time, you can have a standing desk or you can have one of those really big bouncy balls, which is really cool. I'm kind of rambling right now. I really just need to find something to eat. Uh, can I like create my own sandwich? Here, do you all have any chicken salad right now? I do YouTube, so yeah, just vlogging and stuff. I gotta get my channel together. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. Oh nice, yeah. Are you a problem solver? This is such an important skill to have as a software engineer because you're literally solving problems all the time. That's literally your job is to solve problems. You don't always have the answers online or in a book. A is the father of B, but B is not the son of A. That of course is a small example, but if you like the challenge of trying to prove or solve things that haven't been proved or solved before, this is definitely the field for you. Cat. Honestly, I'm so sick and tired of seeing movies where they have a software engineer or a programmer and like the world's gonna end in like five milliseconds and they write up a program to stop the world from ending. That's just not how it works. So if you have a logical mindset and you like boiling complex problems into smaller integral parts based off of research and technical knowledge, this is for you. So if you make decisions based on emotions, you're out of here. Sharp attention to detail is important because if you're writing a bunch of bugs in your code, that leads to customer complaints, which leads to loss in revenue. Last but not least, you're gonna have a dedication. You're gonna have to have a dedication to learning. This isn't one of those jobs where you learn it once and then you don't have to learn it again. No, software is changing all the time. With that being said, if you are dedicated to learning, you love working with others, you have a technical mindset, you love solving problems, you pay attention to detail, and you like making money, I think this is for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below your thoughts on software engineering or development, or if you have any questions, holla at your boy. And on that note, I'm gonna say see you later. Peace, have a blessed day. I will see you all later on this week. No, I know what you're thinking. I'm not about to go write any code. It's the weekend, I'm about to go play basketball with the homie.